brother Scott from uh, Cloak, dude. You guys are uh, super sick. I've been listening to you guys for a minute. Uh, first time seeing you though. Um, this run just started. Uh, how, how how did how did the four dates like become like did you guys kind of i know you guys are doing like a festival right at the end or something like that yeah so we this started out of uh basically necessity to go over to austin to do the fest um we got asked to do uh oblivion access fest like two months ago and we agreed to it so we just came and did mobile do new orleans tomorrow austin friday and then uh, Houston Saturday. Hell yeah. So it's basically routing dates. Okay. Hell yeah. Is this your first time in Mobile or, or the area? Second, Second time? Yeah, oh, yeah, we did um, June, January, yeah, February with uh, at the same venue with um, Imperial Triumph. And, okay. Oh yeah. 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 I heard that was a really sick show too. Yeah. So. yeah. Always a bit of a, seems like a smaller crowd here usually. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Um, Decent venue. So. For sure. Yeah, I've been here a couple of times. Uh, yeah. you, ever, you ever heard of the Handlebar uh -huh. in Pensacola? Or, uh, some, some people told me about it. Right yeah, there, it's so. a cool venue. Yeah. I think you guys would like that one a lot. It usually has a pretty good turnout. Right on. Um, but yeah, dude, uh, what, what's y'all's plans for the rest of the year? I mean, are you guys trying to do more tours? Yeah. I know you guys just, you know, released some music recently. Yeah. Um, if you want to talk about that real yeah, quick. Yeah, record came out uh, May 26th. Um, we have a tour that should be announced next week i think it's going to be basically nationwide uh a lot of canada too and that's uh all of september okay oh, yeah. so it's a long one for us um we're doing puerto rico in august and then we're doing mexico the week after so we have five dates in mexico which is first you know international besides yeah. canada for well, that'll us. be super yeah. sick um do you guys have anybody that kind of like sticks out that, that inspires you guys that kind of like you know you know, it sounds cheesy, but made you into the people you guys are, the band you are today, that you kind of want to tour with, that you listen well, I mean, to a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of bands, but I mean, really for us, it's the classics, Metallica Slayer, Iron Maiden, uh, you know, all the classic 80s heavy metal, and then of course, you know, the second wave black metal, um, bands like <laughs> um, Dissection, of course, uh, you know, early Burzum, early Man tons of other styles of music you know punk i grew up on, on punk so bands like discharge and gbh who i saw two nights ago um yeah tons of bands but it's 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 the classics for us that are really always going to be like the, the center point of inspiration okay so like i said earlier i know you guys are doing like a little four uh date you know run real quick uh is is you know like the rest of the year do you want to do more festival dates are you looking at more like miniature tours bigger tours to hop on like what, what what's kind of like the main goal for you guys i mean i know you guys probably are like whatever we'll do whatever but i mean some bands have a certain like goal they want to do it in the year do you guys have like a certain goal of like how many like tours or festivals you want to hop on or anything like that no it's it's usually just what what comes to us and then is presented to us and we uh just decide what we want to do most festivals will we'll say yes to um if it's if it makes sense and sometimes we tour around the festivals and tours get presented to us through booking agents and, and manager and stuff like that so um i guess the goal is to really just get the most touring that makes sense for us um, you know sometimes we turn it down if it doesn't yeah for sure it's not something we want to do but uh, we want to do bigger opening slots for bigger bands right oh, yeah. now uh, on this third record okay so i always like to ask how'd you guys form have you guys known each other for a long time uh what's the history behind the band uh me and sean started playing together in 2013 uh we got max and we had a different basis at the time but yeah we wanted to do it was a little more raw death metal sort of black and death metal at the time um but yeah, we just we started playing together, and we didn't think it would be this big thing that it turned into. So it um uh, lost my train of thought. Oh, you're good, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it was uh, yeah, we just formed like any other band basically, and then we, we started going. And then we took a little bit of a hiatus in 2014, and then we got back in 2015, and from there on, it's just been what it is now. We yeah. just had one member change yeah. in 2018. So. Well, you guys are doing a great job. I mean, you know, all y'all's projects have been loved, you know, from what I talked to. You guys are consistent, you know, put out great music. You take your time, you put out good music. And you have Sig merch. I'm going to pick up some tonight. Um, so to, I guess to end off, I try to keep these pretty short. Um, do you have any, like, bands you, you think deserve more recognition that are smaller, not necessarily from your 
area just in general that you think uh, should, should be shouted out and listened to? Um, yeah, there's this band called Veninum that put out two records that I really like. I usually try to shout them out. Um, Tafos is a cool death metal band uh, from Denmark, I think. Um, let's see, I don't know. I'm trying to think of... I can't really think of many right now. I know, when usually, it's in the moment. Usually five. bands are that are doing well are doing well for a reason. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, there's, there's lots of good bands right now. Well, I see great things in y'all's future, man. You guys have been killing it lately. You know, uh, I, I I think, you know, you'll have a great future. They, they, I, you know, I see you guys as becoming, you know, the next, I don't know if you guys know, like Spirit of Drift is, uh, something like that. I, I can see you guys touring with them or like, uh, like Revocation or something like that, dude. I don't know. I, I could see you guys, you know, getting on tours with those guys because you're really talented and you guys always, I was watching live shows before this and you guys always put on a good show. So. But uh, I appreciate you chatting with me, man. Uh, safe travels the rest of the tour. You know, I know you're going to New Orleans next. Have fun yeah. there. And, Should be uh, good tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, dude, it'll be really sick. But yeah, man, stoked to see you guys tonight and uh, thanks for chatting with me. Yeah, I appreciate no problem, you so much, bro. Scott. Thank you, bro.